This is a demonstration video uh, using the Hydrus Microshunt with the Bionicle MIGS Beta I with the Ingenuity system. We're just marking the position of the implantation and four o'clock hours away will be our Hydrus incision, which is to the right of our view. We make this uh, just temporal to 12 o'clock here, sitting temporally using one millimeter MBR blade. With the uh, model eye, we make the incision a bit larger than we normally would in the human eye just to facilitate entrance. And this is again, a directional incision made toward the nasal angle inject some cohesive viscoelastic into the uh, anterior chamber and then we put some viscoelastic on the cornea and we'll tilt the uh, table. This is the uh, bionicle table which allows us to tilt the scope, tilt the uh, eye. We'll tilt the scope as well and that will prime the implant, dip it in some viscoelastic and uh, position it just prior to the uh, bevel tip. We enter the eye with a bevel up position to that incision which is facilitated and now the gonial lens is on we can see a nice view of the trabecular meshwork this is a reddish hue, which signifies the pigmented TM. Not pigmented TM, just superior to that. Sliding back and forth, pushing against the outer wall, uh, inner wall against the outer wall, and now we have the uh, tip into the uh, TM. You can actually see the translucency over it, uh, just the tip. And now we're injecting the hydrus into the canal, uh, tracked very beautifully with the bionicle eye. And by keeping the cannula in place, the interlock is now shown to release the uh, inlet and is positioned beautifully here with the transition zone just at the gonio incision and that's basically where we wish to uh, place the uh, the device we can move the device back and forth if we wanted to here uh, the uh, anatomy allows us to do this but you can see the nice three windows the inlet the transition zone and then three windows as you can visualize here nicely in the canal as we'd expect it to see in a human eye so very good demonstration using a model eye with uh, conventional approaches the simulation here is quite accurate to what we'd expect to learning the hydrus microshunt and all the manipulations around if needed to implant. I would recommend any surgeon who hasn't done hydrus yet to start with a model line. Go through the motions, go through the hand motions, go through the simulation. Best place to start is on a model rather than the human eye. Um, I think that the consistency of the canal and the TM is fairly realistic, although we don't expect it always to be that way in simulation. And the tracking was nicely shown, the ability to adjust the implant if it's too far or too short or to withdraw and retract, all can be done. I like the closed system. It gives you a realistic uh, idea of what's happening in real life with the cornea, with a with the whistle elastic, and with the uh, prism, and of course the uh, the head, uh, the Romero head, uh, nicely kind of gives it, us you know a simulation of what it's like to work around the periorbital. Sometimes periorbital can be a problem. We're not taking that into account planning incisions and the right approach. So I think it's you know it's probably the closest thing we can get to to a human eye without operating a human eye in the simulation. Uh, exercise. So yeah, kudos. Good job, Bionicle.